Hi guys, uh, and welcome back to tutorial two of uh, Modo e-learning platform from the Invest of Zambia. Uh, last time I did, uh, just to do a recap, a quick recap. Last time I did mention that uh, you can be able to access the Modo platform through the Invest of Zambia website, uh, and that gives you a link to the Modo platform. And if you're accessing uh, it from there, you need to remember that uh, your credentials on SIS are uh, the same credentials that you're going to use on Moodle. You must be a registered student, guys. You need to be a registered student for you to be able to access uh, Moodle. Now, before we get into the gist of today's uh, discussion, I want to just remind you of a few things. Like, uh, this is my dashboard right now. Okay, I can toggle that so that I have more space. This is my dashboard. Uh, I wanted to mention a few things here that uh, you are able to update, especially for the, those that are going to be like first time users. It, the system is actually going to prompt you to be able to upload your profile. Now, uh, I want to talk about the profile. I want to talk about the grades, especially these two things. Now, if I click on uh, profile here, let me just open it in a new tab. So if I click on profile here, I have my profile open here. Now this profile is showing me uh, my country, is showing me where I come from, okay, this is basic information. I can update this information, I can edit on top there to add my image, my portrait image, which is going to come and show over here. Let me show you over here. So it's going to come over there. Uh, and lots of other important stuff, okay? So it shows me also how my activity has been when last I logged in. Uh, now, of importance, okay, of course, is that the course that I'm taking, but also would like to, would like to encourage uh, everyone out there that uh, you can actually use a mobile application. And this is going to be easier uh, in terms of data, data bundles. It's going to be, become easier and uh, probably even cheaper uh, if you're going to use a mobile application. Uh, but if you're okay with uh, the desktop version, there's not, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, I just thought I should mention that before we get to... Uh, to so if I click on uh, mobile application, so it's going to open uh, the Moodle site and I can access this. So it doesn't matter whether you're on Android or you are on an iPhone, it doesn't matter. You can just download this application and use it on your smartphone good stuff. Um, now let's get back to uh, quickly what we're looking at here. So I am looking at uh, uploading on my assignment and here we are. So on my right navigation here, I have an assignment that is coming up. And that's the same one that's showing on the timeline there. So all I can do is just click on the assignment that has been given by the course lecturer and uh, it has instructions over there so i'm going to use microsoft word to come with my document it must be eight pages to 12 pages according to this assignment and uh, avoid plagiarism so but <laughs> so when i when when when, I, when i'm done with that uh file i'm going to save it somewhere on my machine and then i will need to upload it of course this also tells me that i have not yet attempted to uh, to upload this assignment i have also not been graded yet but there's a due date there and depending on uh the setting of the course guys depending on the setting of the course guys um sorry about that tone because of the setting of the course you will actually uh be given either some extension to upload or no extension at all but the important button is over here that's the uh, submission button. So if I click there, just wait for it to open. So at the bottom here is now the place where we can do our upload. Now this upload, uh, either I'm going to drag and drop my assignment right there, or I can basically click on uh, this little button in the top corner here. If I click there, it opens uh, this thing for me here. So I can attach my file, attach file, and then just call it something. So I can call it assignment one or something like that. And then, you know, that's me there, guess the details of who is uh, attaching, and then upload the file. And that's pretty much it. After that, I will see my grading later on. Thanks guys.